You know, when I was first starting a channel, I don't think anybody could have said to me that someday I was going to have people that actually want me to run a battle with a, what's at this point, a very expensive box and actually compete for prizes on the channel. I wouldn't have believed you at all. But here we are. We are doing an Ultimate Masters box battle with four fantastic patrons. And honestly, if I had a case of these, I probably could have filled them up. It's crazy to me. But understand, because it is a lot of fun. I recently took a part on another high roll one and, well, <clears throat> did really well until somebody went ahead and had like the biggest pack in, uh, in history. But anyway, here nor there on that. We are going to do an Ultimate Masters box battle. And then the we're going to do... Everybody's going to get, sorry, six packs. Let me get in order here. We're going to count up the casting cost of the Rares and Mythics. Whoever has the highest is going to win the box topper. Whoever has the lowest is going to get a pack of uh, Streets and New Competent Collectors. And that's how this battle works. But you get to keep everything inside of your packs. Your packs belong to you as the person in the battle. So, someday I might do winner take all, but... Not in this. And this is uh, you get you get what is at least in your packs, which means that then you can still have a really good you know opening without winning. It's possible. Okay, let me get these packs out. Oh man, I love this set so much. This was at one of the, one of my earliest things on the channel when nobody watched. Um, is I did a I did a full case of this, and then I kind of did an overview video. Of what all came in the entire case because i was looking at the price of the case and i'm like that's not that bad for what's inside and sure enough i was correct on that <clears throat> and it was interesting it was an interesting case study now uh, getting a case of this is is expensive <laughs> that was that was quite some time ago i think i had like 60 views on my on my uh in total on one video? I think that was the high. <laughs> uh, how far the channel has come, huh? All right. <clears throat> I still don't understand it, but thank you all for being here. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty good. Um... All right, first we've got Knox. Three, four, five, six for you. Then we got Sean. One, two, three, four, five, six for you. Orion. One, two, three, four, five, six for you. And Franz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. In case of any ties, it goes by whoever has the singular mythic with the highest casting cost. Then singular rare with high, highest casting cost. Then flip a coin. Good luck, everybody. I hope everybody gets some stuff that they like. That is always important to me personally, not that I can ever guarantee it, and likely somebody here is going to complete Pound Town. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> Knox, you are up first. We're going to do this in three total rounds. We're going to do two packs per round. So you got Arena Athlete Foil and Fulminator Mage to start us off on the rares. So you got a three to start, and you got, hey, Anger. So let me write that down really quick. Hold on. Okay. All right. Second pack knocks. In the early days, I struggled with those pull tabs so bad. I still do from time to time. Rolling Tremblor foil and Vengevine for our first mythic. Okay. First mythic's out of the way, folks. Keep track of this. Keep track of this. I've seen boxes with two. Most have three. I've seen boxes with four. So that is a four for you there. Unstable Mutation, Boar Umbra, and Apprentice Necromancer. So Nox, after your first two packs and the first Mythic, you're at a seven. Sean, let's get into your, oops. Pull tabs are great until you completely blow it and you have to open it in a more traditional way. There we go. Eel Umbra Foil. All is dust. Oh, that's... It's a, it's a nice rare hit, and it's a beefy seven. Murderous Red Cap, the Djinn, and Blast of Genius. So a seven in your first pack, Sean. And uh, I should probably put a thing in there saying, like, you can skip the first minute of my, of my rambling. Okay. Last Gasp. 
Ruined Halo with Rudy's ex-girlfriend. And this set is so synonymous with like it, it, that was that was his ultimate series was this. So many things came out of that. So many channels use it. It's it's hilarious because we all watch it. All right. So you, Sean, you're at a nine after your first two packs. Orion. If there's any content creators out there that say that don't watch Rudy, I'm gonna call you a liar. Okay. Champion. Oh, Mikaeus the Unhallowed, and that is okay. There's nothing. Dust. All right, good. Mikaeus the Unhallowed for our second mythic and a six, a six. Four Umbra. Okay. All right, two mythics out of the way already. That's fast. Okay, Grave Scrambler, Talrond. Not the card you want to pull, but it is a four. Hey, Lava Spike. Hey, Garna. Okay. So you got a 10 in your first two packs. I'm going to write that down in just a second here. But I'm going to put all in dust back on top. So Ryan's at 10. All right, Franz, your first two packs. Resurrection, Containment Priest for a two, Counter Squall, Brawn, okay. Let me write that down before I forget. All right, your next pack, Franz. Demir Guildmage Foil, Thespian Stage. Wow, you are really low after two packs. <laughs> Emancipation Angel, very nice. So that is a zero there. So after the first round, we got Knox at 7, Sean at 9, Orion in the high at a 10, and Franz in the low at a 2. All right, Knox, we're going to do your next two packs. Here we go. Pen Umbra Worm Foil. Dig through time for the Giant 8. Oh, okay. Snake Umbra. And a Laboratory Maniac. Not too shabby. All right, Dig Through Time is a massive pull for casting costs, that is for sure. That's how you win a box stopper, is cards like that. Living Lore. And Squee! Squee! For a three. Squee for a three. Dawn Charm, Plume Veil. All right, so, hold on a second. I'm just going to put Vengevine back on top here because I want the Mythic on top for my own visibility. All right, so Knox, that puts you at an 18 after your first two packs. First four packs, sorry. Sean? Reanimate for the low but awesome one. Stream of Consciousness. Yeah, he's, he's up to something. And Phalanx Leader. All right, second pack, Sean. Souls Fire. Noble Hierarch. Jeez, back-to-back -back one drops that are actually good hits. Crazy. Not how you get the high, but definitely how you get the low and be happy. <clears throat> You're an 11 after your first four packs, Sean. I'm an 11. Okay, Ryan, we are going to do yours next. Miss Miming Slime and a Fauna Shaman. Okay, we are definitely we're killing it in the mid tier rares. Let's get some of the high end ones though. So that is a two there. Golgari Thug. Hey, Devoted Druid. Nice pull. Become a nice pull anyway. Sleight of Hand Foil. That's a nice foil in common. And Lord of Extinction for our third mythic of the box. Oh, that is that is a big old five. Mystic Retrieval. So that is, let's see. Well, Ryan, you are at a 17 after your first two packs. 
first four packs, sorry. All right, Franz, your next two. I feel less organized today for some reason. I don't know what it is. Engineered explosives for a zero. <laughs> so Franz, uh, I didn't know you were going for the low, but here we are. Um, that is a really nice zero pull. Okay. Feed Hunter and nothing else. A <laughs> zero. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so by the way, we have three Mythics pulled so far. So the question is going to be is, is this a four Mythic box? And we also haven't pulled a Foil Rare yet. Awful Snout. Seismic Assault for a low three. Yeah, Artisan of Kozilek. That is... Franz, you're at a five after four packs. Like, that's... That's ridiculous. Okay. All right. Going into the last round, we got Knox, who's currently in the high at an 18. Sean is at an 11. Ryan, Orion is at a 17. Franz is in the low at a five. Okay. Last round, everybody. Knox, here we go. The Unicorn... And Sovereigns of Lost Alara for a beefy six. Oh, Eternal Witness. Very nice. Rogue's Passage and Magma. Okay, and your last pack, Knox. You know, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking that if I do no in the future, I'll do three, then two, then one, just for the drama. Patchwork Gnomes. Maelstrom Pulse for a three. Dreamscape Artist. Okay. So that puts you at a grand total Knox of 27. We'll see how that does as we go through the rest, but that's pretty strong. This is not exactly a high casting cost set, except for a few outliers. Okay, Sean, let's get into your last two. Wicked Bro Elder, Revel Arc for a five. Okay. Vengeful Rebirth. All right, so now you're at a 16. And there we go, your last pack, Sean. Oh, there's our foil rare. Rhea Dawnbringer, which actually has become a better foil rare to pull and is a nine. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that just hit me right now. It's like, oh, cool, finally, we pulled a foil rare. Oh, wait, we're doing a battle. Oh, God. <laughs> a nine. All right. And a spoils of the vault. Hold on. This is this got interesting because of Rhea showing up. Okay, so that was a 10-pack. Oh, that that is nuts. All right. I'm going to have to do a quick second count right now. So Knox has a 27. Verified. And Sean has a 26. Oh, man. Okay, well, this doesn't necessarily mean that Knox has the high either right now. Orion's at a 17. He's got two packs left. Let's do this. I just wanted to verify because like, they, they were one apart. And I'm like, let me just double check on that one. Because we're battling for a box stopper here. Whirlwind Adept and Celestial Colonnade. Not the pool you are looking for to get that high, but it is the pool you're looking for if you're going to go for that low. Gogart Charm and Prismatic Lens. That is a zero. All right, next pack, Ryan. Cavalry. Tassacruti's brother showing up. So you got a six, Shriek Maw, okay. Well, I don't want to say it's decided yet, but Orion, you're at a 23. So Knox, you're at a 27. 
Franz is at a five. If what's in his two last packs, which is very possible in this set, overtakes Knox, then Orion takes the low. There we go, last two packs. This set's got some real beefy cards, so. Will the Mogs Crusher? Gamble, nice pull, but is only a one. Oh, another lava spike. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that actually means it's decided. Okay, Franz, your last pack. Back to, hey, a second foil rare and a good one. Oh, very nice. Okay, back to basics in the foil. So that is a three. Anna sees the day for a seven in that pack. That was, a, that was a nice surprise right there with the back to basics foil. Okay, well, it has been decided, folks. So first off, congratulations to the cast and cost winner. Knox, you have won the box stopper at 27. Sean just missed 26. Ryan, 23. Which I think he... Yeah, he took two of the mythics. And a fauna shaman. And then Franz is in the low at a 13 after a six pack. So I'm going to open his Capenna pack first. All right, open up. There you go. There we go. Last pack. Hold for Ransom. Seraph. Newsy. Elict illicit shipment. Quasar. Forest, I guess. Tramway Station, Cormella, and then after this we get to the meat. All right. Meeting of the Five Foil. Angelic Sleuth. Neat card. Okay. Wire Tapping Extended. Ziatora's Envoy. And we got a Mythic Angel of Suffering Extended Art Foil to finish off your bonus pack, Franz. Okay, and the box topper. I'm going to go slow with this. That's right, this had a pull tab, didn't it? Oh, God, so dumb. Careful, careful, careful. Pull down, pull down. There we go. Okay. Uh, the other way around. There we go. <sighs> Emrakul. Oh, nice box topper. Okay, like you're always worried you're gonna flip it over and it's gonna be a Kitchen Finks or a Maelstrom Pulse. But no, we got Emrakul. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to, right after the video here, this thing's gonna go in a, in a top loader. Um, congratulations, Knox, on the fantastic top pull. Thank you everybody for participating in this battle. It was a really good time. And uh, all the cards are gonna get packed up, shipped out. Thanks everybody for watching. We're on the path for it. 5,000 subscribers? I still don't, still don't understand how that's possible, but here we are. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, who has watched. Thank you, everybody, that's commented, liked, blah, blah, blah. Till the next video. Goodbye.